I'm a financial coach and I founded Fully Funded out of the pandemic in 2020, 2020 and launched in 2021. But I, I've come into this work a little sideways, like life is a journey. I've been self-employed my entire career. So I'm 39. I've been self-employed for 20 years. And I, I probably made every financial mistake in the book. So I have learned <laughs> so true. from my own experiences of that first good year, right? Bam, taxes. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. And I feel like there's also that first, the first not good year where you're like, oh, cool. I, you know, I left my job making $50,000. I've been hustling and I'm making $20,000. I only get to bring down $10,000. Like, what the heck am I doing this for? <laughs> and then you do have the good year and you're like, wait, where did all the money go? <laughs> where did all the money go? Or, oh, I have this big tax bill. Um, And so that experience and then having been self-employed my entire career, I didn't have a job in my 20s that had a 401k. I hadn't been putting money aside into retirement. I was too busy hustling and working and putting myself through college. And then I really started to buckle down in my 30s and work um, on my personal finances and starting to invest for my future. So even before becoming a financial coach, I always had a personal interest in personal finance just from my own experiences and my own journey. But the way that I came to start the business was I had been a birth doula for over 15 years. I have a doula collective here in New York City that I own and manage. We have like 70 people on our team that work with us. And through my own experiences of becoming a parent, I've got two kids, they're seven and three, I've planned a parental leave twice. And for anyone mm -hmm. listening, if you're self-employed and planned a parental leave, like it's just a different <laughs> situation, right? <sighs> It's totally, you know, even like I got pregnant with my first kid when I was still employed and it was a small enough business that I didn't need to have FMLA, but there was something different about like knowing that I would have had a job to go back to after 12 weeks, even if I didn't have that income coming in um, yeah. versus when you're self-employed and you're planning that maternity leave, you're like, but when's the money coming back? Exactly, exactly. So you're not only planning for an unpaid time away from your business, you have to think ahead and plan how you're going to have money coming back into your business once you return. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of stress around taking a leave when you're self-employed. The first time I did not plan well. And then the second time I planned my entire pregnancy around my leave. I was like, I am taking four months off. I am training a team to be in my place and I am saving X amount of dollars to make it happen. And it worked and it was a total success and like one of the best experiences of my life and totally worth it. And so I, and originally I started Fully Funded to help other self-employed people plan their leaves. And the original name was Fully Funded by 40 Weeks. Oh. But as I started working with people, I quickly realized, and this is not shocking, right? We live in the U.S. and there's no mandated paid family leave. Mm -hmm. So no matter if people are self-employed or if they're employed and they have FMLA or they're taking an unpaid leave, so much of parental leave planning is actually financial planning. Yes. And once I saw that, I was like, well, guess I'm getting into financial planning. <laughs> 